Alright, greetings ladies, gentlemen, and those who've been watching my videos so far, welcome back to the gameplay of Eliza. Eliza is an AI based psychology your friendly consultant. Your friendly AI consultant powered by Scanda. Yeah, there you go. I'm spelling Scanda right, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I'm start I'm just now starting the game again. Uh, after quite a rough episode one, um, it was uh, we met Darren <laughs> with his issues about his perception on seeing the world and such, and um, he seems to fan fandom at the I don't know if it's a uh, correct place for them to for him to come to Eliza where he knows that he's going to get served with AI based uh, proxy uh, responses so like yeah I, I don't know if it's like his decision for that or maybe it's because the world that we're currently living in now doesn't have any other uh, consultant a real consultant based uh, place for them to consult their problems at anymore. I have no idea. I still don't know what year is this is, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's January 6th, two hours after that session, or maybe the first time we met Eliza, basically. Uh, we met Evelyn, not Eliza. Eliza's like, the place. The AI. Right. So that's that. Uh, also talk a bit with Ray, with the uh, uh, she's the one that's handling the place, the three centers, three centers at Eliza. She's handling that temporarily, at least. So I hope she's not getting too overworked there. That would be not good. Let's check the mails a bit. Nora Plavninki. Ah, Nora. It's the one that we just chatted about. Uh, her concert or her, yeah, her concert. People you may know, Bissent, Hedonic, Massive, Little Sapo, Clean World, Fit, KO, January 17th. That's 11 days from now, which was January 6th. Uh, from 8 pm to 2 am. 21 plus only. At least we know that Evelyn is more than 20 years old now. I mean, come on. It should have been office, I believe. The Damien Seabrook Memorial Fund, the friends and family of Damien Seabrook. It's hard to believe, but it has been a little over three years since Damien's tragic passing. It is said that time heals all wounds, but there is no way to express how much we miss him still. We are grateful for your contributions in Damien's memory, which continue to go toward the causes he worked so hard for in his life. This year, the Damien Seabrook Memorial Fund is supporting the following organizations. The Greenhouse is a non-profit non uh, denominational organization. You can read all the stuff here. My tour is unfortunately not too well at the moment. Um, mental health stuff. Tech workers together. Hmm. Tech, indus tech industry. Hmm. The humanitarian software foundation supports the development of free open source software. For therapeutic or corrective purposes. The members dedicated to creating technology to help others and will strongly advocate any tool he made to be freely available. The Minister of the Change the World for the Better and We Are Worse Off Without You. This goal you leave behind is still immeasurable. Hold on a second. Mental health stuff. Uh, working conditions. Oh, I have a bad feeling about Damien Seabrook's passing here and how he passed away. But I'm gonna shrug it off for the time being. But uh, the supporting uh, memorial fund supporting though, uh, it's gonna tell us about the way he died. Although I'm not gonna still speculate that way. I'm gonna keep it surprise to yourself. And myself too, of course. I do wonder about the K and G part there. Maybe their parents' uh, initials. Yep. Oh, it's Ray. Ray Bukari. Ray Bukari. 
I think that's how you spell it in Indian or something. Uh, just for some wider context, this is a nice article about our efforts from a year and a few months ago. It's a little outdated by now, but still relevant. I've got a little cameo in it. It's kinda poised, poised to capture growing demand for mental health services by Peter Cassidy. Hmm. Frassier! Frassier Crane. Psychiatrist with the Seattle Area Radio Show. Mm. Seattle. Seattle. <laughs> How do you spell that? Seattle. Satellites. Kind of how we spell it with satellites or something, maybe. But I believe that's not the one. The satellites might not be speaking to a radio personality, but a nap developed and oper operated by Skanda. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Dub Eliza in honor to, of the pioneering 1960s computer program with the same name. It's gonna say Eliza can reveal a user's overall mental health, detect problems, and make recommendations that are tracked over time for the effectiveness. It works in tandem with Skanda's mental wellness app, oh, I see, which can track mood changes and other metrics over various periods of time. Livia Davis was an of a male with the demise of a busy life, so she made an appointment to see Eliza, not online, but at a physical counseling office located in the city's Queen Anne district. This place, basically. There, there she spoke to a human worker. Oh yeah, was work was guided by the Eliza program. Scanner claims that the in-person format is superior to online counseling as it brings more of a human touch to the sessions. Sometimes it's not enough for others, sadly. Uh, where, you know, they still prefer not to talk too much. Still prefer uh, some human touch if possible. Yeah, some those actions sometimes. It depends on the person, of course. Mm. Oh, that's Ray. That's Ray. Oh yeah, she's a manager of the Queen Anne counseling offices. Mm. What's Eliza in other men? Well, as I say, she's the reduced cost. Hmm. Started released earlier this year by the National Institute of Productivity, indicated as much as 43% of the nation's workforce reported feelings of anxiety or depression strong enough to interfere their day-to-day performance. This is an epidemic and we must begin treating it like one, the Institute Deputy Director Talia Kapuczynski, in a statement accompanying, accompanying the report. Direct the report, yes, yeah, the report. Yeah, of course, as with, with any new technology, not everyone is a fan. We have already given up much of the daily texture of human life to this cheap and technocratic solutionism. This surprise fades, but my disappointment in how much further we seem to prepare to go remains perennial. Read the poet and critical critic Perrin Benjamin. Hmm. A danger in private ownership. Hmm. Good concern, good concern. You have the right to be concerned there. Mm. Well, that's a bit determined. The next question is going to be who controls it? What does it mean if millions of people suddenly have their ongoing will being set up to pro proprietary code owned by a multinational corporation? Okay, this is a good point. You have the right to be concerned there. The game synopsis actually also tells, actually, this is not going to be just a story about Evelyn. This is also going to be the story behind who's behind this technology. And so far we've seen the good things of Eliza so far. Scan has not made public its plans for the service, though it has released the preliminary results of an internal study indicating that counseling sessions conducted by Eliza match or even outperform those conducted by trained human counselors alone. Interesting. Interesting. So that's why the Eliza workers would seem to, of course, uh, I'm not meant to say persuade or push them. I think there's no indication that they should use it, but 
No, I have no idea. But of course they have the right to enforce. Uh, I think that still has a major difference because it's meant to be the case because it's like it's like the uh, the basic line on using Eliza proxy. Uh, just Eliza actually, yeah. Dave is for boss at this point customer. customer. Mm. I mean, this actually reminds me that there's actually a, already a media uh, where, well, maybe it's not entirely a media, but a place for you to be able to hug a person and the hugger actually gets paid for it. It, it does actually exist. Maybe because they mm, have certain interest issues with their friends, so they don't feel like not trusting the friends to hug them, but instead they feel like they're comfortable enough to pay a person that's paid to fuck them. It actually exists now that I remind it, remember it. Peter Castle is a writer and journalist interested in the intersection of cutting edge technology and ordinary life. Also, the reason that I mention it is because uh, the way how Eliza works kind of seems like it. Uh, so, like the proxy just serves as the media, the human, human humanitarian or something like that media for the client so that's gonna be an interesting outcome for this visual novel for sure especially if it uh, actually touch really close to our current era so it's really not that far for us to actually legitimately, legitimately have Eliza in real life so I mean can we play solid set? oh wait we can play or do something with this one Oh, hello. Think bad to what broke you here. I think this is like a mantra stuff. I like the detail of the pixel stuff. The closer the objects are, the more it gets uh, skewed, and the further it is, the less it gets skewed. Something like that. Uh, I'm talking about the rotation, the object rotation. Is that it? No, I didn't think there's anything that I can do there. Okay, good to know. Yeah, this is actually really just interesting. That Evelyn has this app in her phone. We'll find it interesting, is it? Oh yeah, Bijuks. This was found by a team. Now we did now. It's kind of well as that, right? The gym already nags me about not working out. I didn't need more of that. <laughs> I don't need to play this game. I should delete it. Hello. Oh. This is the couple for the solitaire, I believe. Apparently, we can choose the difficulty. So we gotta beat the easy first to unlock the medium. Gotta beat the up medium to unlock the hard, and beat the hard to unlock the expert. Beat the expert and get the achievement, basically. Interesting music too, by the way. Oh god. Now that I realize it, I have no idea how this solitaire works. This is not like the one with uh, normal Remy cards or something. Well, crap. Is this Ace? Oh, that is Ace! <laughs> Oh no 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 no! It's the one for the slot stuff. Oh yeah, there's uh, the how to play. Matching cards can be stacked and can then be moved together. When four matching cards are united on the tableau, they will collapse into a locked stack. This will also unlock a free cell if one is available. Oh, okay. Hmm. So I think you can place a random card there if we uh, seem to 
like it or something? And it has to be four matching cards. Oh, four matching cards! I see. Free cells can store a single card of any type. Four matching cards can also be united in the free cell to collapse them into a lock stack. Oh, a single card of any type. I see, I see, okay. And it also has to be four matching cards too. So I cannot do three matching cards. I have to do it with four. Okay, okay. Uh, to win the game, collapse all 10 types of cards into 10 lock stacks. I see. That's 4 and this is 6. Okay, I think I get it. I do want to I do want to play a new game though. Not that I know the rules of such Hmm. Hmm. This one has a similar uh, pattern with this one. Wait, no, I'm talking about this one. The one that I cannot see yet. Oh yeah, I can now. Hmm. But this one also has a similar thing with this one, so I don't want this one to be dragged here and this one to be dragged there. That's the one. Well, the expert one would be crazy. You only have one slot, one free slot, so you cannot place any cards there. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, yeah, it has to be really matching. I don't think I can undo. Yeah, right. In hindsight, I could have just dragged the previous two to this card's position initially so that I could drag that one here <laughs> oh well this is also a different card too interestingly oh okay, maybe I'm gonna put this one here have this one here instead uh, oh that's also already a different card <laughs> I think I'm gonna play this at a much different, f uh, freer time away from the lore stuff. Uh, likely so. We'll see about it though. I'm still really interested with this game. Oh, wait. That's doable to be done there. Okay, I figure that's not gonna be the case. I do wonder about this there. Alright, this is already for same same cards, I see. And then I can place them there if I feel like it. And then place one here in case I want the free space and such. Hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> I can place you here too.
Wait, is it possible that I can put them here? That's the... Okay, that's not what the cell says apparently. <laughs> oh well. Hmm. Well, this definitely helps though. Yeah, beating this game in expo is already gonna be a nightmare. You just have to be really lucky at stuff. That's not even lucky to begin with. Hmm. What oh, is the only card there? I see. That it helps me. We can try. Okay. Hmm. I think that's enough for now. Oh, that, that, wait, what? Oh, no, 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 that's a different symbol. The one around the top left and top right. Huh, okay. It's tricky, admittedly. I do want at least a free space. That card is still somewhere over there. That's gonna be way too long before I can figure that one out. Uh, maybe not that long, now that I think of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it's not that long. Ah! Hallelujah. Yeah, that's the one. Bam! That's one clo close uh, part again. Or oh, lock part, rather. Not close part. That's one. There's another one there. Really interesting game. That's already uh, also closed. Can drag you here if I want. Or maybe rather than uh, actually, rather than laying them off here, I could just place one of these uh, four stuff there, and then put in put in this two. Eventually, that I'm going to plan to place them here in order to put them there but then at what cost <laughs> makes me wonder that's not going to grant me any solution I believe I'm afraid I'm making actually put them there too interestingly I think it's probably if I put them here and then I, I really can't attract them anymore. I'm not gonna be able to do that. That's clever. Hmm. I have to find the one that actually really suit my need. Like getting one of these uh, cards to be un uh, unlocked. Uh, to be locked, I mean, not unlocked. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's the same car. Hell yeah! Hmm. Wait, what the? I forgot. What if you you could have put that card there, and then you could drag all the three cards here? That might be a possibility, isn't it? Uh, probably. Hmm. I'm afraid I'm going to get stuck-ish. Or maybe not true. Aha! Getting you that one off again. Hmm. In here or in here? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I gotta go to trace my steps a bit. Next one I'm gonna put place here. 
uh, I will be able to pull this one up here and then I can drag this four okay you know what that uh, I'm sorry to think that may not be plausible I wish I place this up here so that I can free myself some spaces. Let's see what's up. There's legitimately no undo button here. So you really gotta think stuff through. It's already locked. That's already gonna be locked. Interesting. Wow! Alright! That's one that! The easy one already! to be completed. That's a really interesting game, this cup of food solitaire. Yeah. Doing the exit was gonna be hell. When count applies only to desperate difficulty, that already this game already leaves a note <laughs> about the uh, winning condition of this game. Holy hell. That's funny, actually. I think that's that for this game, though, for now. We have real life issues that we actually really gotta deal with here. <laughs> Alright. Eliza said the weather will clear up later today. Hopefully, it happens before the sun goes down. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. It's still rather cloudy, yeah, now that I see it. Plants are nice. I should get plants, I think. I don't know why I never did. Or I've neglected them, maybe. Yeah. I think the reason why my mother is able to uh, water some plants is because uh, she's just working at home now. I'm working at home, I seem uh, legitimately doing that at home, so. Yeah. That's the reason. Okay, uh, what else that I can see here? Oh yeah, the, the, the door. I hope the next client is a little easier to handle. This job might be difficult in a way I wasn't expecting. Yeah. It's going to drain your emotional stability. If... Well, I mean, it depends on your client, whether they're going to be coordinative or they're going to be really dismissive with Eliza's Responses. Yep, that's really gonna depend on that. Let's continue. <laughs> Time for the next session. I hope this one's a little easier on my nerves. We're just gonna have to press the buttons, man. We really don't have anything to do here, just to press buttons, <laughs> honestly. Alright, Maya Leads. Maya Leads. Introduction phase. Hello, Maya. Welcome back. Hello, Maya. Welcome back. Hi. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> Alright, this is his... I can already tell that this is going to be fun client. Rainy out there today, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Rainy out there today, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good thing I put on my extra big raincoat this morning. <laughs> Uh, that's normal heart rate so far. Thankfully, it's supposed to clear up later. Thankfully, it's supposed to clear up later. Ah, uh, well, gonna look weird with my giant coat tonight. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Interesting. Yeah, I really can tell this is gonna be much funner client compared to our first client. But hey. Who knows? I'm just judging from the first impression so far. What brings you here today, Maya? Um, right now I'm just nervous. I have the nerves. I've been trying to get my career off the ground for so long, like a really long time. And I still feel like I'm stuck on level one and... Hmm. A really long time, eh? 
sorry, I know we've talked about all this before. I probably don't need to go over it again. Yeah, this is our legitimate second client. No idea how their previous meeting was, but uh, she implies that Eliza is already known uh, this client, and I suppose they should have had since they've gone through the first session and such and stuff. Um. Anyway, there's this conference that's happening next week, right? Like media professionals, something, and something. something. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a really fun tone. That's bad enough for my anxiety, but I was also invited to this party thing. I gotta have to check the history. Trying to get her career off for so long. But she still, I believe, not having confidence on that. She talks about multiple things at the same session. This is not gonna go easy on her, I believe. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. It's like dinner and then a party. I'm not sure how it's gonna work. That's a reasonable thing. The point is, there's gonna be a lot of big, important, famous people there. Like, like people that I really look up to. People with, with big followings online and lots of fans and all of that. All, all of that. Hmm. Okay, this is a good response. It's actually true. Just gonna keep uh, making a good question uh, to your client and uh, be sure to make it a little bit chatty or something. Maybe that's not the point of the questions. It's just to let them analyze their own thoughts and let them figure out their own answers by doing this. And how does that make you feel? I feel like, why? Like, why was I invited to this? I'm... I'm nobody. I, I am a serious, gigantic nobody. Gigantic. Okay. That's how you spell it, gigantic. Okay. I don't have a show I'm doing, or any collections out, or, or, or a webcomic everybody loves. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I tried to do those things, but nobody cared. Folks at my workplace, they watch various stuff on Netflix. I still don't have any Netflix account. <laughs> I just watch YouTube, I just play games. None of my work uh, co-workers actually play games, I believe. Yeah. I don't have fans or followers. I, I'm not even sure I have friends, like for real friends. One of those feelings, I suppose. I tried. I, I do try. I put my art online and update my oh. social media accounts, and I try to post consistently, like they say to do. But, but yeah. Hmm. She's an artist. That I can relate to. Well, I mean, I'm not exactly an artist. I just draw stuff. I don't work to become an artist. I work as your casual office worker. <laughs> I'm still in that like purgatory zone, just waiting to be discovered. I see. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I was invited to this party thing as a way for someone to be mean to me oh, no. to remind me how successful everyone else is oh no well I guess that's a way to feel it yeah why am I even going to it I mean I know I should to meet people and make connections or something okay this is a good question is meeting people and making connections your goal? Well, I think it is. Net networking? I'm supposed to do networking, right? I really have no idea what networking is. <laughs> Hello, I'm Maya. I do comics and art and I write and stuff. And I have lots of characters and ideas and, uh, would you like to give me money and I'll do those things for you? Hmm. <laughs> Hi, I'm cool. Please like me. <laughs> like me, like me, hire me. <laughs> oh god, I hope they like me. Oh god. Commissioners. 
I think that's what they feel. I hope... I really, really hope I make a good impression at this thing. Uh, of course, knowing the way things usually go for me, I'll fuck it up massively somehow. I'll fall into the fondue pot or throw up on someone, something like that. Probably inside the issue caught up to her eventually. I don't know if there's actually gonna be fondue there. I'm just saying that kind of feels like something I have to do. <laughs> I see. Yep, so I'm a little concerned or afraid. You sound a little concerned or afraid. Well, yeah, I am. I'm terrified. What if they suddenly remember I'm a failure and shouldn't be drinking their booze and breathing their air? Eventually, someone's gonna realize I'm not hip enough to be at this thing. Hmm. Maybe it'll be polite, like a, a gentle tap on the shoulder. Excuse me, miss. I couldn't help but notice that you suck and not terrible. <laughs> <sighs> this first actress, uh, this first actor is doing so well with her lines. Holy hell! It's obviously just my anxiety talking. I know it won't go like that literally, but it could be like that in a figurative sense. Overthinkingness. I got it. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> in our first impression, of course. Okay, Maya. I want you to do imagine things go well. What does that look like? Okay, this is good. Okay, Maya. I want you to imagine things going well. What does that look like? Uh, going well? Well, that would be a first for me. Um, I suppose going well at this party means people start to learn about who I am. Interesting. And maybe some of them help me with my career, and maybe some of them become my friends. That's a good one. Like, I want to be noticed as a creator, but I also want mm. friends who are cool. She has her standards, and that's admirable. That sounds super basic. You know what I mean. It, is it okay to want that? I hope it is. I want to be part of, like, a group. A group. I used to have that feeling, too. And we like each other and support each other and maybe the things I make won't be as good as the things they're making But I hope they see my work and see me Actually, that's Legitimately deep self-reflection there Yeah, this is already a pace challenge, right? Yeah, that's that's what I want They're Very nice, Maya What do you think it'll take to get this ideal scenario? What do you think it'll take to get to this ideal scenario? Well, probably takes me being a different person than the one I am. Hmm. Dear me. Someone who's cool and alluring and has that air of mystery instead of being some kind of scrawny, nervous wreck. Someone with with style and grace and poise. Someone who can walk into a room and own it. God, I wish I could do that. You could do that. You legit could do that. I would believe in you. But only when I wanted to, because I also wish I could disappear when I wanted to. I see. One of those feelings. I know, that's a little contradictory. Sorry. Already recommendations. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to feel like the contradictory part of this sessions. They're not digging through the challenge phase deep enough that I think that's the reason uh, they're coming back and forth uh, into Eliza counseling sessions. <laughs> they're legitimately not deep enough, and not to mention they have to pay each sessions with. Uh, they gotta charge it. They gotta charge it per session. I'm really starting to feel that would be the case. And uh, don't get me wrong. I'm only. I'm only. 
uh, fresh graduate, uh, sorry, two years of uh, psychology fresh graduate, but I, I just already feeling it that will be the case because my counseling class wouldn't be this short if we were not to click uh, on the uh, if we were not to over analyze this uh, stuff it would have been much much shorter honestly in every each of the sessions I feel let's continue holy hell I'm ranting here okay Maya I have some recommendations for you we'll see though We'll see though. Maybe she's gonna be all happy and such with this one. This is really basic, like seriously. With human consoles, I feel like they could have gone deeper into their uh, resolution. Uh, that's just in my opinion, alright? That's just my opinion, I'm sorry. First, I'm going to suggest a set of stress management exercises for you to do. Yeah, Skanda Wellness app, yada yada yada. Oh god. I wanna cry. You'll find them in the Skanda Wellness app on your phone. They may be able to help you with your nervousness. Lytosinol 2, what is that? Uh, maybe it's some sort of drug that will be able to reduce their uh, stress. I haven't googled that. <laughs> Don't mind me. Second. I recommend asking your doctor or psychiatrist about Lytosinol 2. Based on my analysis, this medication might help you feel better. Drugs. Yes. Ugh. Oh, freaking hell. Ugh. I sense a disappointment from that tone, man. <laughs> She's not liking it. <sighs> Whatever you said that was called, I am on it. Maybe she's okay with that. Maybe I'm just overanalyzing. You will get a reminder to check in with us in a few weeks. I always do. I always get the reminder. I mean, not that I always act on it. Oh, honesty at best there, my man. Honesty at best there. Thank you, Maya. We hope to see you back soon. Yeah, yeah. Don't you say this every time? Yep. I figure. I figure. I figure. <laughs> Thank you for speaking with Eliza, your personal counseling partner. Goodbye. That is a... Well, I mean, it's better. Okay, that's interesting. Not as sympathetic as they would expect it. Uh, I see. Maybe they, maybe Darren noticed. Oh, 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 actually, I do wonder where this ratings come from. Is this like from the client or? I do notice this one is from the client, but I do know. I do wonder this one, where this one comes from. Maybe it is still from the client. Darren would call you as sympathetic because. Eliza's special script, hell yeah, that's the one where he, le he unleashes his, yeah, that kind of thing. Until Eliza had to do it to calm him down, basically like that. With the high there and stuff, acting as human and such, human interaction. Yeah. I was, hey, nice, uh, five stars, and we get two and such, that's good too, isn't it? Let's continue. Ray comes over to talk to me after I finish my second session. How are you feeling? That was definitely along the lines of a more typical client. That's true. You watched that one too? I couldn't bear the thought of you getting two really intense clients in a row. I just wanted to make sure everything went smoothly. That's thoughtful of Ray. Maybe Evelyn thought she didn't have to do that, but... Fairly thoughtful. Fairly thoughtful of Ray. Mm. Oh. Do I thank her for that? Oh. You know what? Let's make friends. Thanks, Ray. Are you getting used to the system now? 
I still feel like it's kind of restrictive. Yeah, yeah I get it now. <laughs> I wish I could be honest. You know what? I'm gonna be honest. I still feel like it's kind of restrictive. I wish I could interpret what Eliza prompts instead of reading it exactly. That's good. I think that's good. Yeah, it's like I said, a lot of new proxies run into this. They'll say, if only I could just talk to them for real. If only I could say what I really wanted to say. <laughs> That's a really common feedback point. Yeah, I figure. You're never tempted to break away from the script yourself? Nah, it's just not part of the job, you know? Fair point. I learned to compartmentalize pretty early on, and that always served me well. People overestimate their own abilities. Okay, that's also a fair point, admittedly. Have you ever had an interaction with a stranger where he clearly thinks he's getting along with you way better than he actually is? Oh, oh my god. Oh no, yeah, I've ever had one myself. Oh yeah, oh, those were the days. Those were the days. Oh, I see what you're saying. Hasn't everyone? Mm, I see what you're saying. Oh, I see what you're saying. See, you know exactly what I'm talking about. People like to think they can play therapist. It seems easy if all you know is the movie version. Huh, I barely watch any movies related to a counseling sessions, I don't think. Is there any? Is there any? I think there's any, but I just don't notice it. <laughs> You know, where you get paid to sit there with your notepad and say, I see, or hmm, every once in a while. I mean, sure, as much common as that one is, it's still, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know about this one, but it's still probably this one that, hey, there's, yeah, okay, I get you there. Uh. Okay, I think Eliza does reduce that part of the... <laughs> uh, what's the word? I'm not talking about stimulus, I'm talking about the lines of it or something. Right, right, didn't think of that. The reality is, active listening takes a lot of work. That's true, that's true. It's much easier to just zone out a little bit and let Eliza run things. <laughs> There's also a term actually in a counseling session or something like that. Uh, it is to repeat uh, what they're saying so that uh, you can pretty much get the gist of what uh, they're saying to you, so that you don't misunder misunderstand or misinterpret what they're saying, so that you could get the uh, solution as much as they wanted themselves to uh, uncover that. For or something like that, yeah. It's kind of meditative in a way. You just follow the prompts. I know computers telling you what to do has this negative connotation to it, and people who want to criticize us call it dystopian or whatever. <laughs> uh, welcome to dystopian simulator game. <laughs> but it's like any technology. It's a tool. Okay, that's true. Ray looks thoughtful for a moment. Either way, you're doing fine so far, Evelyn. Cool. This is a busy day, too. We might break our single-day record if no one cancels. Oh, interesting. Is volume especially high right now? It is, yeah. It really rose around the beginning of the year. We've been in the press a lot lately, so it could be that. Oh. Oh, yeah. That should definitely be the case. Could be it's New Year's resolutions, too. People coming in, wanting to sort their lives out once and for all. Okay, that's also true. This year is the year I'm really going to start addressing my problems. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get that. I do the same thing. Yeah, me too. Oh, Evelyn. Anyway, I told you it was simple, right? Just keep up the good work following those prompts, and you'll be leveling up in no time. 
Leveling up. Oh man, I do wonder how that <laughs> looks. A bit funny, that one. Oh well. Still gonna do that regardless. Oh. This year is the year I'm really going to start addressing my problems. Ooh. Uh, the way she said it though. Hmm. Hmm. I definitely remember thinking that. I remember thinking that three years in a row. Interesting. I agreed to meet up with Nora at the cafe nearby. Okay, so uh, I think this is gonna be the cafe session. I'm gonna have to save it for the next episode because it's only 15 minutes around. And I, uh, I did admit that I played solitaire. We'll check the solitaire now f if necessary, right? Well, we can actually do that. That's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'll save that. I'll save that in the next episode for sure. Thanks for watching, folks. Uh, it's been an interesting episode. This is definitely me heavily overanalyzing uh, the client, uh, people's actions, and such and such in this one. I'm having fun with that. Although, of course, I'm definitely gonna be subjective in this one because I haven't read any psychology stuff for years now. But I'm gonna have to refresh my knowledge on that one. Cheers everyone, see you on the next episode.